Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have my grocery haul for the week of Memorial Day and boy did I go over budget. That's okay, not a big deal. I'm gonna show you what I bought and give you a little bit of my meal plan for the week. It's a super short work week for me. I don't go back to work till Wednesday. I took Tuesday off. So really I only have to prepare lunches and breakfast for three days, but I'll show you what I have going on. All right, so my total was $51.94. I spent $17.46 at Aldi. I spent $25.49 at Kroger, and I spent $8.99 at Target. And I'll discuss, but that's, that's what we're looking like this week. Okay, so we'll do Aldi first. I grabbed some corn chips. Obviously, these are not for me. I'm taking them to my cousins. I'm going to a cookout today. And I'm going to be making some queso. So I got some diced tomatoes. And I got a, I have one of these already. I got a secondary one to make some white queso, which I can eat. That is certainly keto. Um, and then the chips for them. And I have pork rinds I got for me. Like I said, I got some pickles. I got some sour cream at Aldi. Wow, this week the eggs were 49 cents. So I grabbed two dozen because I already have one dozen in the fridge. And I just cooked a dozen to make for my meal plan. I grabbed at Aldi two creams. As you can see, I got one at Kroger. Ooh, and then I got at Aldi my pork rinds, and I had strawberries for $1.19. Look at how red and juicy they look. And then I purchased some portobello caps. I'm gonna grill these, and I'll show, tell you about that in my meal plan. I got at Kroger two packages of these. If you've never had bratwurst, the sausage, oh, they're like an Italian sausage, but they're brats. This is burgers that Johnsonville makes. I love these on the grill. So I grabbed two packs. I'll cook them up. They'll get eaten. I got some big asparagus to grill. I love asparagus. And then I purchased for the for, to eat and for the freezer two packages of the Nathan's Beef Franks. This is a great time to buy um, meat especially for like grilling season and stuff. So I stock up. These were buy one, get one free. Normally they're $5 a pack. And if you can see, there's only one carb and they're really clean. So I grabbed these, um, and by clean, I mean free of chemical sugars, extra stuff. So I have two, one's already in the freezer. I got my heavy whipping cream at Kroger as well. Oh, and in the fridge, I have two bottles of Gatorade Zero. Now what I bought at Target for Memorial Weekend is this Crooks and Marker. It is sparkling cider, so it's alcohol based, but it's zero sugar, made with organic alcohol. It's super clean and there's only three carbohydrates, but look at that, there's three urethritol, so this is zero carb. This is a zero carb beverage, you heard me right. Now, four cans are $8.99 and how many ounces are in a can it's 4% alcohol it's just one net carb per can but I don't know what that, they do I don't net let me see here and it's an 11 ounce can so they come to about two dollars and 33 cents a can this is tangerine tangerine so I grabbed this to try, but like I said, that was $8.99, so I'm not sure if I would count that in my grocery budget. It's just something special to have for the holidays. Um, it is in the refrigerator section, and there's a couple other brands I want to try. Henry's came out with a zero sugar. They have some, um, Henry's brand has some hard soda, like they do a great crush and an orange soda that's got alcohol in it. All right, so this is it. Um, like I said, I'm going to grill these this week for my meal plan. So I'm planning on doing some grilled brats. I'm going to grill up these mushrooms and use them as my bun. Like put the bra the grilled mushroom down, put a brat on top, and then dress it like a burger. Uh, for my side, I'm going to have grilled asparagus. And I'm super excited. My um, produce cart is back. So I'm going to walk over there in a minute. And I'm going to have deviled eggs. Probably I'll eat those for breakfast too. And uh, queso. So it's kind of just a good week to have a bunch of fun stuff. I will bring you along while I make the queso. It's super easy. I probably won't bring you along while I grill, unfortunately, because that'll be doing it tomorrow. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow. Whoa. That's a, what you'll be seeing today, Monday. Today's Sunday. 
All right, let me get this put away and I gotta whip up some queso. Okay guys, we're gonna do a little lunch and a little preparational type stuff and then we're gonna cut up some cheese. Oh, we're gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I bought this, I got a coupon for a free one, I should say, when I um, went to my keto meetup group. And this is a, it's called Real Good Pizza Company and it's uncured pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce, on a chicken breast with Parmesan cheese crust. So this is a chicken crust. Here are the macros on it. I hope you can see that. Let's see, can you? One pizza is two servings. And it says in a conventional oven, oops, I gotta get it up to 425. I'm not gonna microwave this. We're gonna put this in the oven. So preheat oven to 425, place in oven bake for 20 to 23 minutes until cheese is melted, remove from oven and allow pizza to cool for one minute. Okay. I'm trying to keep these boxes tidy because I'm gonna do a keto empties of some things that I've been trying that I will eat and I think are clean. And let's just try not to slice our hand off, shall we? So this will be, I'll eat half for lunch and then half maybe tomorrow for lunch. But the crust is supposedly chicken. And the macros look good on it. Now I'm gonna take it off this cardboard for sure. Maybe. Yeah, I don't wanna cook it on cardboard. Okay off the cardboard it's sitting on its little pan I'm bringing the oven up to temperature so that's good when the oven beeps that will go in the oven for 20 to 23 minutes that's very random but what else okay I'm gonna put my pickles away anybody have one of these or their grandma my grandma's was green this is from Tupperware the company it's a picadillo I put my pickles in it I Love it. Sorry for the banging. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love putting my pickles in here. Keeping it in my fridge. So watch this. If you've never seen one, when you want a pickle, you just pull it up. There they are. And when you're not eating it, they sit in the juice. Isn't that awesome? I bought that. I'm obsessed with Tupperware. But um, this I got, I think, last year. I order Tupperware a lot from a co-worker who sells it. Generally, I just get a few pieces at a time. Now, we are going to make the queso. Her. I'm gonna put it. I'm still having discomfort here, guys. We're gonna um I'm gonna melt it in this pan on low, the cheese, and then I'll add the rotel to it and cream if I need to thin it out. But this is it's just a queso dip, like you get at the Mexican restaurant, like white cheese queso. So this is gonna be a challenge for me, not gonna lie, but it needs to be cubed up. Now I'm not using, excuse me, my left arm other than to guide the knife. Um, Cause that's what you do. So I have a dip crock pot that I'm gonna take this in and I'll show you when I pour it in, but I don't think it'll all fit in there. And I wanna leave a little bit at home for me for the week. So, I'm just going to make it all and then take with me what I want. You know, take what will fit in the crock pot for everybody and then leave here the things I want. So, what I'm going to do, cube up the rest of this cheese. I'm going to put it on the back burner here on low and just kind of let it melt. It'll take a while, but that's okay. Melting it slow and low is better than um, burning the cheese. You could do it on a double boiler. You could do it in the microwave. You could do it in a crock pot. But like I said, I'm not going to dirty up 
the big crock pot to transfer it to the little crock pot to take and it won't fit in the little crock pot all of this I do not believe so that's what we're gonna do I'll bring you back the ovens coming up to temperature it should be there soon and then I'm gonna put my pizza in to cook and I'll show you when it comes out what it looks like because I am curious all right I'll be back the pizza is out and if you can see everything kind of slid off so I'm going to try to get it back up on here before I move it to a plate and cut it, which was just weird. I mean, literally, I had to put the pepperoni back up. Okay, so we'll go with that. It's um, salty. Mm -hmm. It's very salty. The cheese, probably cheese and pepperoni, but I cooked it on a piece of foil, which I don't think is a bad idea. But we're going to try it. We're going to take a bite. I've never had pizza. And I'm assuming that's what this will qualify as. We're going to try just the cheese. And the chicken parmesan crust. Hmm. Definitely can taste the chicken. Not bad. And the cheese. And then the pizza flavoring. So, I mean, it's definitely a sellable pizza. It's not holding your hand pizza. It's cut on a plate pizza for sure. Now with the pepperoni. Mm, that's good. You know what it reminds me of? Like a pizza burger. Which is good. It's just not pizza. But would I buy it again? Yes. It's good. Just not pizza. To me. So that's lunch today. I decided that my crock pot is bigger than I thought, so I went ahead and transferred the cheese with a little bit of the Rotel in here to let it melt. And then after it's done melting, I will add some cream to thin it up. It is one o'clock, so I gotta get rolling. I gotta leave here at two o'clock. All right, that's all my cooking and prep for this week. I hope you all had a nice weekend. Thank you to those who served and in remembering those who lost their lives for us. Um, for sure, today is a day of remembrance for that. Time to spend with family and kind of reflect. So we're going to do that with my family. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.